Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do this fabulous fall look. It is really dark. It's very fall because, hello, plum lips, green, orange tones, and yeah. So if you want to see how to get this done, continue watching. Okay, it looks like I'm focused, so that's a good thing. Okay, so this video is basically going to be about talking about this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. My little cousin advised me to get one of these a long time ago. And when I was at the cosmetic company outlet in Riverhead, New York, which is basically Tanger, Tanger Mall Outlet, it had this all for like a lot of percentage off of this foundation. I got this for $27.75 and I'm not sure what this retails for, but um, this is pretty much what I'm going to try out today. This was the closest color I could find to my skin tone because I did some research. I saw that Truffle was compatible to NW45, and no sir, it was not. It was really gray on me. Like I put it on, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make it work, and I was buffing in the foundation, and no sir, that was so gray, and I was like, I had to take it off and wear some other foundation. So I went back and swapped it out for Rich Cocoa, and I compared it to 8.5 MAC, um, um, what's the name of that foundation? Uh, it's not Studio Fix. What's the name of that foundation? Uh, Match Master 8.5. So, well, let me show you. This is 8.5. <laughs> Alright, this is 8.5, and this is Rich Cocoa. So it's similar, it's close, um, so hopefully it does work. So let me get into my face routine. I'm gonna use some primer, uh, Makeup Forever Mattifying and Smoothing Primers, and put that all over my face. Cause is that is what I usually use. So let's do that. I'm gonna skip mattifying because my skin has been kind of patchy around here because I over scrubbed my face and it became really raw and. My face is actually going through it, but I'm just using smoothing primer. It looks a bit red. I don't know if you can see that. My body is way lighter than my face. I should be. see, but you know, let's see. Okay. Boy, this is red. You know what? Let's go with it. It looks good on camera. Hmm, okay. I, okay, <laughs> double wear. Okay. We have a new phase in the house. This is really good. Okay, put some on my forehead. Being kind of messy and barbaric, so don't mind me. So I'm going to take some of that and add another layer, just spread it out. Let's bring it down. See all that? Because I have a thick layer of hair gel right there, but it got covered with foundation, so that's why that looks crazy. All right, foundation done. I'm just going to speed through the rest and put on my concealer and all that stuff. Good old fawn. Banana. Hmm. So even though you have a particular foundation that doesn't really exactly match you, you could always, you know, use a powder that either helps 
match you a little bit better or highlights you and you don't if you do a full-on makeup with contour and highlighting your foundation doesn't always really stand out in the end like the matte I mean the original blank canvas of a foundation I think it's a good match and I probably will be wearing this a lot and I'm going back up there so I'll probably get like two Marados Columbus Day shopping and stuff like that I can't wait that place is amazing a little bit of powder. Using the same four colors to bronze and contour with, which is copper brown and cinnamon. These are the first two I go in with. Copper brown and cinnamon. I have realized that bronzing could apply to women of color, even if as dark as I am. Um, I know it's a thing, some people do this, I just never believed that bronzing was a thing for women of color because I mean what are we bronzing but this method actually makes my contour look much more smoother and I like how it looks it's like a gradient of colors blending together and it gives me a really um, natural contour look so I do like this even though no one's gonna see the side it bothers me so I just contour it there as well I know it's weird so the next colors are espresso and carab The new holy grail of nose contouring for me because I don't know what I was doing before this brush. This is called a Royal Lanikin Silk Pro brush. It's called the Angle Eye Blender C460. I use this for nose contouring. It's amazing. I pick up a little bit of espresso. I kind of build up my nose, nose contour, which is the best way to go about it. Um, so, yeah. I love this brush because it fits so well. It fits like a glove and it blends. It fits my nose shape really well. Now I'm gonna take some dip brow and do my eyebrows. Yeah, and I really like using an angle brush to do this uh, simply because it's so precise and it's not gonna dull down like a pencil. So my camera cut off, but while I my camera was cut off. I concealed underneath my brows and I'm just gonna do like a green wing liner. I'm feeling like that today. I kinda wanna do that. Um, with a neutral eye. So let's do that. I'm gonna set ink underneath my brows crap before I continue on. I'm gonna use my glow primer to prime my whole eyelid. So before I go into concealing the eye and lashes and all that stuff. I'm just gonna finish off my face and I'm gonna go in with this next blush called Bordeaux. Uh, this blush called Flush from Sleek. It's a bit brighter. Uh -huh. Highlighter of choice is always this glow kit. I always go for it. I'm gonna top. I'm gonna start off with golden bronze and then use dripping on gold on top. Bronze. And I want to use dripping on gold. It really sets off the highlighting because it's a tad lighter. Using dripping on gold on here too. Mm hmm. Highlighter moustache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Love it. I'm not going to call it because I haven't used it in a while. Um, what am I going to use? So I do use this huge ass foundation brush. They actually used to apply foundation, but I use this to set my eye because I have huge eyes and I have a big lid space, and it just does the job quicker to use this brush. Um, I'm going to use this for my under brow. I pretty much set my whole lid space because it helps blending with the eyeshadow so much better. I'm going to use this brown right here in my crease.
for the fall theme, I'm gonna add something a bit orange and reddish. Let's go with a little bit of this right here, that color. This color is what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the outer corners and blend it through. I'm gonna go in with this dark brown and smoke out my bottom lash line. Mama likes, I like this a lot. I wanna have like a basis for my lashes, so what I would do is use a cold pencil. This is L'Oreal, I think. And I'm just gonna run this on my upper borderline. My contacts. Oh, I'm never wearing these contacts again. This is why I stick to what I like. But anyway, Anastasia Emerald, I want to say, this green. No, it's called Peacock. Peacock is the name of this eyeshadow. And this is going to be my wing liner. So let's do that. For the amount of times this camera has cut off on me, you would think I would give up with this tutorial. Boy, it is hard to film on manual, manual mode on a, on a 50 millimeter lens. And keep it focused. It's it's kind of kind of crazy. Now for lashes. I don't know, can you see? I want to add some mascara. Now for my lips, it's a bit dry, but I do like the matte look. And you can also wear like a really dark lip gloss to match this and put it on top. But I'm just gonna keep it matte. I'm wearing P2 Perfect Look Lip Liner. I got this from when I was in London. And this is called Eleven Aubergine. So there you go. <laughs> Very dark, dampy, fall appropriate makeup look. So that's it for this look. I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed. If you happen to like this video, be sure to thumbs up this video. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't and let me know what lip you appear this this eye look like with because this is absolutely fall. It screams fall. Like this plum lips, yes, I love this color. I would definitely wear that like a whole lip color like this. It's all fall up in here. It's beautiful. And I don't, I don't think I said, but this is Coco Lashes by um, uh, Coco. I hope you guys do enjoy. I'll see you in another video. Bye.